even though it can feel sort of weird being the older person in the group, like I, I think it's good to have different perspectives. I think that'd be really cool, not just have like one career, but to also help students in the future. That's so cool. Hi, I'm Joseph. Nice to meet you. Hi, Joseph. I'm Melina. How are you doing today? Um, I'm pretty good. I just graduated online. How about you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good myself. A little bit tired, but I'm uh, hanging in there. And congratulations on graduation. Oh, thank you. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, okay, so like I guess I'll start from the beginning I came here when I was one and a half years old from the Philippines and um, right now I'm studying um, business I'm a, a business major and I want to go into finance and um, marketing too so that's what I want to major in and right now I'm looking for a transfer school I got accepted to two so right now I'm like trying to make the choice and I'm still waiting on the other one um, yeah, what about you? Uh, so, I'm from the United States. I was born in Washington, D.C., uh, but grew up in Silver Spring in, uh, in Maryland. Um, I actually, actually graduated college in 2014. I went to the University of Pennsylvania, got my degree in marketing, and all these years later, I'm kind of trying to transition my career more into acting and filmmaking. So uh, I've been taking classes at MC to do television production and audio production and video editing. And uh, I'm also working for MC TV as a production intern. Wait, so, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting journey that I've been on the last several years. Well, I really enjoyed um, marketing too. I was initially just going to go in for finance, but I really like all the stuff that like um, marketing like has. Like I had a marketing internship mm -hmm. and allowed me to kind of like be creative. And that's what I'm kind of doing with my work right now and creating like content for like social media, which I really enjoy and I want to get into in the future. And so I guess going through MC, uh, what, what has your experience been? Uh, how uh, how has your experience in MC helped uh, helped you help guide you on the path that you want to to go on? Mm, okay. Have you ever been to the um, cafe in school? Well, do you go to the Rockville campus ever? Yeah, I, I haven't been all over the campus a whole lot, but uh, yeah, I've been to the cafe. Oh, okay. So, as a part of like. Um, my business program so we have to work at the cafe it's kind of like required for experiential learning and that has like really helped too because you know it taught me how to make like starbucks drinks and become like um like a cashier and we also do like other stuff like outside of just like the cafe like i also was on the accounting team like i say was now because like i just graduated so like yeah, I think I'm still getting used to it, but um, we did like the daily reports and then we would make our income statements and then present it to the board whenever we had those meetings within our program. So that really helped me kind of like with the finance section that I want to get into because, you know, like looking at numbers, you can predict like how we can use our money in the future. So it says here that you are a former professional wrestler. <laughs> Was that? Yeah, that, that's true. So uh, when I was a kid, I was a huge wrestling fan. I got introduced to it at the age of eight. And this is back when pro wrestling was very violent and, and you know, not really for kids, but I was watching it anyway. Um, 
And I told myself that's what I wanted to do when I when I got older, um, in addition to other things that I wanted to do, but that was number one. And, you know, even when I was going through college and, you know, I kind of had my mind focused on, on things besides wrestling, uh, you know, that was always in the back of my head. So I was like Googling wrestling schools all over the country. Um, and I ended up coming back to Maryland. I didn't intend to, but that's where I ended up. And, um, and I ended up going to, uh, it's called Maryland Championship Wrestling up in the Baltimore area. That's by far, in my opinion, the best wrestling school for anybody who wants to get into to that profession. I, you know, it was really good training. We, they have a lot of connections. So you, I got to work with uh, big name wrestlers, mostly guys from like the eighties. Uh, I doubt you've heard of them. People like the Honky Tonk Man and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. They're guys who are WWE Hall of Famers who, you know, going to some schools, you probably wouldn't get to interact and work with those guys, but I was fortunate enough to do things like that and, and to live my dream. Oh, that's so cool. Um, so you you had briefly talked about it before, but the transfer process uh, for uh, for MC going going into another school. How are you finding that? Um, it's actually pretty good. We had really good advisors in the MBI program who like helped us um, at least once every semester plan out our schedule and like what classes we would take. And they really made sure that um, we were taking classes that were gonna transfer over. And um, they would tell us like, even though we were interested maybe like in a certain class, the to fill like our humanities like requirement or stuff like that, like um, they would be straight up and like tell us like, oh, those might not transfer over to the schools that you're thinking about um, applying to. So that was really good. They were really honest and um, it really helped and make sure that like our path was clear and we weren't like repeating any courses if we, um, we weren't repeating any courses or taking unnecessary courses. And it was really good. They just like um, guided us and like kept us on top of like, um, like the courses we need to take in order to like have them transfer over. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so uh, can, can you talk a little bit more about the, the MBI program? I'm not familiar with that. Oh yeah, so um, it's called the Macklin Business Institute. And I got in when I was a senior in high school and I was really fortunate because um, out of all the other options that I had, this one was providing like the most um, financial aid to me, which is really important like for me and my family because you know, I have two younger siblings and they want to go to college too. And um, I didn't want it to be too hard on my parents it's because like the other universities, I would have to pay a lot more. So I'm really happy that I chose MBI and it's an experiential learning um, business program. And we have seminars every Wednesday. We have like, uh, it's like meetings and we have like different workshops where we get to learn about um, like things that will really help in, as a business major, like um, about this book. It was like seven highly effective seven habits of highly effective people and we come with that and going over things you use in accounting or uh, case analysis how does it feel being like um wait no offense or anything <laughs> of course but how does it feel being like a little older like in the mc community and interacting with like younger people i guess yeah you know, it, it's been cool working with the people that i've met and worked with in the in the classes that i've had so far uh, and especially in MCTV, uh, being a production intern, um, you know, we, we really get involved in all aspects of production. So, you know, it, it could be something as small as just generating ideas for, for certain content that we want to put out all the way to, you know, operating the camera and, um, uh, you know, doing lights and, and building the sets, doing post-production with editing and, and uh, you know, really every aspect. And I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the people I've worked with. Um, I, I think it's cool to, uh, you know, even though it can feel sort of weird being the older person in the group, like I, I think it's good to have different perspectives that, that come together and, and put out 
unique content and uh, stuff that, that people can really get into and learn from and have fun with. So yeah, it's a little bit weird, but I'm enjoying it. Speaking of enjoying what we have, we are in quite challenging times right now. Yes. <laughs> uh, quarantine, remote learning, uh, how, how has this whole experience been for you? Okay, so we have a treadmill in our house, so I've been exercising. We have a deck, so I sometimes go out there when the weather is nice and like absorb like the nice, like warm sun, I guess. Um, I've been cooking a lot, um, filming and editing YouTube videos. Uh, I finished taking my, I finished um, taking my online classes and doing those assignments. Oh, I think, um, like doing all those, it was really interesting, but I, I don't think it can be like in-person learning at all because like, it's just like the conversations that you have with people or like the interactions, it's a lot different um, when it comes to the learning experience. But um, I would say like I handled it pretty well and I was still able to learn and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, how has it been for you so far? Um. You know, not not too different from what you just described. Uh, you know, I myself, I'm trying to remain productive and and not slack off and just be in bed all day or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm fortunate enough that MCTV has still allowed me to uh, keep my job and I'm still able to do stuff. Uh, you know, they've got me doing video editing and different things. Uh, so. I'm, I'm fortunate in that regard, uh, but like you, I, I've been doing a lot more cooking as well. Um, been trying to increase my guitar, yeah, guitar playing skills. You play guitar? I do. Me too. I play, uh, I play alto saxophone too, but I've been more into guitar as of late. That's cool. I just got a pedal. A what? A pedal, like for distortion. So oh, okay, okay. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I love it. I wish I was better at it, but uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's really all, it's all just about trying to stay productive, trying to, uh, you know, keep your mind right, keep your body right, because um, we will get through this at some point. We, we just have to, we have to keep going. Yeah. Well, Alina, it's been really nice talking to you. Uh, again, congratulations on graduation, and I wish you all the best going forward. Uh, thanks, Joe. It's been really nice talking to you, too, and thank you. I also wish you the best going forward. Uh, yeah. Thank you.